COVID-19 will probably be a part of our lives for foreseeable future. A vaccine has yet to materialize. As the pandemic continues to take a crushing toll, doctors are restoring to a century-old treatment that has been helpful in managing previous pandemic. Taking antibodies from those who have recovered and grieving it is to the sick person and it is known as convalescent plasma therapy. Hi guys, our channel Knowledge of Life Edu comes with convalescent plasma therapy. In this video, I discuss what is convalescent plasma therapy. Before starting our video, I would like to request to all of you, please share our videos and like our videos. And don't forget to press the bell icon for regular updates and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's start today's topics, Convalescent Plasma Therapy. <laughs> So the name convalescent plasma therapy, convalescent means recover, recover from a illness and plasma, what is plasma? We know that plasma is a liquid component of blood and it contains antibodies. We know that blood is made up of four main components, red blood cell, white blood cell and petlets which are generally called blood cellular substance or blood cellular components and the other parts of blood is plasma which contains 55 percent and blood cellular co uh, components contains 45 percent and this red blood cell carry oxygen around the body and white blood cells support immune system and support immune functions and cell cell segment which is generally called platelets from claws to stop bleeding and the liquid portion is plasma and it comprises a little more than 50% that is 55% and this plasma helps circulate proteins, nutrients and hormones throughout the body. But uh, scientists are interested in plasma as a COVID-19 treatment because the substance contains antibodies after an infection and these protective proteins can bind to the surface, surface of an antigen or a foreign invader and help the immune system dismantle it means it boosts your immune system. Plasma actually contains antibodies but also proteins which are produce specific antigen and this is and this antigen is parts of foreign particles those are pathogens. Pathogens means those are harmful to us bodies it may be viruses, bacteria, microbes or those particles are harmful to us body. How does plasma therapy help? A plasma transfusion involves removing some antibodies from one person and infusing them into someone who is sick and providing an immediate action to their immune system. A dose of antibodies does not directly stimulate a person's immune system to start creating their own antibodies especially two antibodies IgM and IgG uh, is very specific for COVID-19 as is known IgM is the first line of defense during uh, COVID infections and high affinity uh, IgG responses are responsible for long-term immunity and immunological memory but uh, this antibodies which comes from a recovered person does a does offer some protection until their own immune system ramps up in uh, the patient's body 
and mounting an antibody response is not exactly a speedy speedy process is generally takes one to three weeks uh, for the immune system to produce antibodies against COVID-19 and ultimately plasma therapy might shorten the length of illness and reduce the severity of the disease. In the method covalent plasma therapy, plasma um, delivered to the patient's body by two, uh, uh, by two uh, process. One is direct transfusions, another one is plasma derived medicines. Uh, when the blood group is same, when the patient belongs in same family or same blood group, then, uh, then the plasma uh, can uh, transfuse to the recipient body from the donor's body directly. But in the case of the mismatching uh, blood transfusion where the blood group is not same uh, with uh, the donor body then recipient gets plasma by some process at first exert exerted plasma from someone that has convalesced or recovered from illness might provide a much needed boost to the immune system to of someone grappling with coronavirus in the past, plasma therapy has been a weapon against the 1918 flu, polio, measles, rabies, hepatitis B and Ebola with varying levels of success. More recently, it showed some promise in treating other coronaviruses like SARS and MERS, particularly when given to a patients early in their illness. There is a reason to be hopeful that plasma therapy can also help battle SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Preliminary studies have found that many patients who receive plasma therapy improved. And what are antibodies and what do they do? Antibodies are Y-shaped proteins produced by B cell of the immune system to help fight bacteria and viruses. A diverse top of 10 million B cells circulates in our bodies. Each type of carries receptor for specific threats and secrets antibodies that can bind to the antigens found on the surface of pathogens. When a B cell encounters its matching antigen it pumps out distinct antibodies that can neutralize harmful invaders or mark them for destruction by other immune system cells and these cells named T cells. Some B cells turn form into memory B cells that remain on the lookout for the pathogens ready to pump out antibodies immunity again. Much less is known about the role of T cells in lasting immunity, but scientists have a hunch that memory T cell, which can remember past infection agents and kill them if they reappear, and also provide protections against COVID-19. Since the coronavirus is new, most infected people probably don't have strong immune system or strong immune defense build up already had T cell against the virus in their system. And this suggests exposure to some other coronaviruses out there like common cold and may provide some pupils immune system with a head start on fighting the new virus. Who gives plasma, uh, who uh, recovered from the illness of uh, coronavirus and the plasma of this recovered persons is, uh, is considered as donor and who takes this plasma those sick person considered as recipient now the question is how many uh, how many patients can be treated with plasma from a donor 
वन पार्सन डोनेशन ऑफ प्लाज्मा कैन हेल्प टू पीपल साइंटिस से दैट अ पर्सन हु पेशेंट्स नीड्स ओनली वन ट्रांसफ्यूशन टू गेट इनफ एंटीबॉडीज टू फाइट द वायरसेस एंड हु इज एलिजिबल फॉर द थेरापी पेशेंट्स विथ मडरेट symptoms of the disease like fever cough shortness of breath oxygen saturations between 90% to 94% and the normal oxygen saturation is 95% to 100% or a respiratory rate of 24 beats per uh, minutes or more normal is 12 to 20 beats per minute and a progressive in increase in the requirement for oxygen despite the use of steroids and who is eligible to donate plasma anyone who has recovered from covid-19 and is healthy one has to be aged between 8 to 60 years and weight uh, at weight uh, above 50 kg the weight over 50 kg and uh, and those who are not suffering from any transmissible or chronic disease like chronic kidney chronic liver chronic heart or chronic lung disease and those who are not immunocompromised or have blood borne infection such as hiv hepatitis b and c and uh, the pulse rate whose have pulse rate has to be normal and hemoglobin level is minimum of 12.5 g per dl and blood pressure and blood temperature have to be normal those can this people can donate their plasma after recovered uh, after recovered covid 19 but before uh, donate your plasma please consult with a consultant which uh, with a doctor and who is not eligible to donate plasma and uh, your weight if less than 50 you cannot donate your plasma after recovered from covid 19 you have ever been pregnant you are not eligible to donate plasma after recovered covid 19 if you are a diabetic on insulin if you systolic blood pressure which is upper blood pressure is more than 140 mmhg and the diastolic is lower than 60 or above 90 mmhg you cannot uh, donate your plasma to recover from covid 19 if you have uncontrolled diabetes and hypertension with change in medication in last 28 days you cannot donate your plasma if you are cancer survivor you are Uh, not eligible for uh, eligible to donate plasma and you have uh, if you have chronic kidney or chronic heart or chronic lungs or chronic uh, liver disease you are not eligible to donate your plasma after recover from covid 19 for convalescent plasma therapy to work we need more and more recovered patients and among the recovered patients we want them to donate their blood if a person is not willing to donate their blood in the betterment of other human beings it is not possible so it is requested to those who are eli- who are eligible to donate their plasma after recovered from covid 19 please donate your plasma uh, uh, before donate your plasma please consult with a doctor uh, and make uh, make yourself as a hero in the pandemic situations no more today if this video motivate you to donate your plasma after recovered from covid 19 please donate your plasma to save a life which severely ill thank you from knowledge of life edu